So welcoming uh, to our show, Cynthia McKinney calling us from, I presume you're on Cyprus still at this moment. Yes, we are. And we have just received a communication from the State Department, not only informing us of the travel advisory that was initially issued for travel to Gaza in 2003, but also quoting to us Israel policy. Now, I'm somewhat uh, dumbfounded by the fact that the State Department is quoting Israeli policy to us. Well, we would rather they quote U.S. policy to Israel. And the reports are that the White House sent Israel a message. And in that message was the request for an easing of the blockade of Gaza. It is reported that that note also included a specific reference to medical supplies and to building supplies, including cement. Cement is exactly what we have on our boat. We have medical supplies also on our boat. And so the question that I have is, is the president ready to stand behind his policy? And maybe he should make it clear to all of us what U.S. policy really is. Is his policy, as is reported, which is that he supports an easing of the blockade of Gaza. And if that is the case, then the president should step up step forward, stand behind his own words, stand behind his policy, and send a message to the Israelis that the free Gaza boat should be allowed to proceed. Well, I absolutely agree, but I think one of the most troubling things I've seen, I, I received one of the communications from your, uh, from your representative, something to the effect that Israel is, of course, putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the government of Cyprus to prevent you from sailing, even to the point where the government of Cyprus is, is threatening to directly intervene with the boats, possibly even to disable them, all supposedly to protect you from harming yourselves out on the ocean. Uh, now, I was not a part of that conversation, but that is exactly what the Free Gaza representative came back and uh, told all of us. There are 36 of us from 14 countries. Her report was just that the Cyprus authorities are willing to disable the boat in order to prevent us from sailing. Well, that sounds very, very extreme. Okay, I guess the most obvious question right now is what can people do to assist you in getting this mission through to Gaza? Because we're all sitting here watching this collective punishment, this enforced mass starvation. We've all seen these horrible, horrible war crimes during Operation Cast Lead. Just sitting here listening to radio is all well and good. What can we actually do? I would request that the audience, the listening audience, contact the White House and ask the White House to please stand behind their own policy and say that we take President Obama's words seriously and therefore he should stand by his words and allow us to provide relief for Gaza. That's one thing. The other thing is that people can contact members of Congress and also ask members of Congress to take a stand on this. This is a humanitarian relief effort for people who have visibly been horribly treated by the Israelis with U.S. weapons. And so the United States is complicit in this. If it is the policy of President Obama to dis engage our complicity, now is the time for that to happen. We need members of Congress to stand up. We need the White House to stand up. We need the State Department to stand up and say, let the free Gaza boats go. Cynthia McKinney, thank you very much for spending some time with us. I know you're incredibly busy with preparations there, and I know you must be very concerned about what the future is going to hold, and our thoughts and wishes are with you and the Free Gaza Project. Good luck, and stay safe, and uh, uh, continue to, to do what you're doing. It's just wonderful work. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Largely vision, 
Escape in this place that's poverty stricken I'm honestly sickened Off thin arm, finger on top of the trigger We got war, black tar on bottom of my figures what? That we lost in these scorching bricks Where they cop coffins like Jordan kicks Pouring liquor on the floor For victims, still we all victims of the same cause Ex-convicts with same thoughts Come home to the same block Metal brick peddling the same rocks And they say that we all wrong But if wrong get me on Then I'm all for the wrong dog Oh, I might take the slug It feels like I got the whole world On my rotator cuff uh, They say the truth never lies Civilized mind, that's why I build with the wise See today, say no today, yesterday Cause it's cuts deeper than before foe. They have my back against the wall Seems to be what they want But they can't keep us down for long, long Struggle comes, struggle go But if you feel how I feel Then it feels like it never would, would Through it all, through the pain Through each fall, through each trial I rise, I conquer, 20 times stronger Days pass, yesterday's forgotten As well as dreams we drink Surrounded by serpents who reach and leave you leaking stiff Surrounded by pain that's worsened but even worse within Grinding through struggle, I'm humble knowing in its strength When will it all end? The truth it never would Some choose a bottle to swallow sorrow hoping it would Time barred, tomorrow seekers hoping we would Flee from defeat and the thought that God is thinking we would Mama hurt and her only begotten swipe for good Daily shots strike, a life takes flight from here for good Somehow that praised, amazed, I'm not, I know it's good A war cause, a formula, order to keep you straight Aware I am, though blinded, you'll find many a kit Form I'm afraid of light with ray birth a new day From mind control, take our mind's control Hopes with full front line, we stand guard alone, our shield through it See, all See today, the same, no today, yesterday Cause it's cuts deeper than before, foe They have my back against the wall, seems to be what they want But they can't keep us down for long, long Struggle comes, struggle goes 